Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to PHP Programming Video 63. And in this video, we're going to look at Facebook uh, applications in Flash Builder. And specifically, we're going to put the title in our application. And of course, you may be thinking, oh, that's no big deal. Here's my title right here. Let's run the program and take a look at the animation. No big deal, right? All we have is a title moving to the front. Now, it is an animated tween programmatically, so it's not like a tween in Flash. It's not coming from an SWF. And uh, so we have to use tween light to do that. And the uh, PHP is actually dynamically generated with the fade. And the rotation as well. You can see it's tilted and rotated. That actually is dynamically generated as well. And so we're going to show you how to do all that. In addition, all of this comes from XML. So I could actually change the name of the course just by changing what's in the XML file. So there's a lot involved here. And once we set all that up, uh, building the rest of the application should be pretty simple. Just want to make one remark before we move on is that in, with these buttons, now last time I showed you that we created these buttons using groups, and we put inside the group basically the glow effect on the group and text and images uh, encapsulated in the group. Now, that's not the only way to make buttons. I typically make buttons two other ways, one using an item renderer and the other using a particle uh, group. So we're going to show that to you in the future videos to come, but for now we'll be happy with the group approach. So let's go right to uh, running this program and seeing how we can get this basically to uh, fade in and uh, come forward. So we're in Adobe Flash Builder and the first thing I want to talk about are the imports that we're going to need to make this program work. There's actually two. One is an import com dot adobe serializer utility dot type utility, and the other is my tween light or import gs dot star. Now that star is the wildcard, and so from this tween light package, I'm actually just importing everything. So it gives me ability to do a lot with tween light. What I'm going to do in this program is very simple, but in the future, I'll keep that wildcard. So what is the type utility? What am I doing here? So we need to understand what's happening in the whole flow of the program. So I'm going to go ahead and roll over and hit my creation complete. So when the program is created, then uh, it runs the application and creation complete. And the main thing that's going to happen is I'm going to get my data result. So when I roll over and click on that, that takes me down to the call responder. And the call responder itself is going to run a method called get data results. And I actually had to program that in. So I actually went here to my particular uh, tab, hit a little space here and typed in results. And then I just, you know, hit return and I did an automatic generator. So I automatically generated that handle. And when I automatically generated that handle, I had to put some pretty cool code in it. Go ahead and roll over that holding the control key and click, and that takes you to the code. And in this code, what I'm doing, I'm actually grabbing the XML. So I actually got a message on my YouTube, hey, when are you going to start grabbing the XML? Well, here it is. We're grabbing the XML. And it comes in these two statements right here. What I want to do is use the get data result last result and that will start bringing in my data. Now what do I mean by that? Well, once again hit the control key, roll that and click and that takes me back to our call responder. What the call responder is doing, it's getting all the XML and it's bringing it in. And so we did that the very first video. We brought a uh, data grid to the stage and we populated it and this get results handler was created and so now whenever we run it we bring in all the XML data. And the XML data kind of comes in as an array collection, and we need to work with it just a little bit. So let's go back up. So what I do now is I can bring anything in from that array collection, just as long as I put a dot. And when I put my dot, in a sense, what I'm doing is, is that dot syntax. So if I go ahead and put the dot here, I see that I'm linking to whatever's inside that array. And my array had four elements, a title, and a sign, downloads, and videos. So let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. So now let's go to our XML. Let's click on Data Master. And when I click on Data Master, I see those items, title, assign, downloads, and videos. And look here, the very first title is the title of the first slide, PHP and 5 Lessons by Lively. If you change this, then the title of your presentation will change. So that's very good. Everything's being brought in through XML. But what position of this? Just remember, XML organizes as an array, and the first element of the array is zero. So when I say title zero, that means I'm bringing in this first element. If I said title one, essentially would bring in this element right here, Lessons 1 and Eclipse. You know, let's do that. Let's go back to the program. Let's change this title from 0 to 1, all right, and run the program. 
And you see, when I did that, I didn't bring in uh, PHP and Five Lessons. I brought Eclipse and Basic PHP Syntax. And it didn't fit right because it's too long, so I actually fitted it by dragging it around to the right position. So you see, by changing these different numbers, I actually bring in different elements of the XML array. Isn't that pretty cool? Yes, it is cool. Now you're going to see uh, we have two of them. And the reason we have two of them is I'm using an old Flash trick. I'm actually having two texts right here one and two. One is front of the other and just augment it just a little bit in distance and one is one color and one is another and it kind of gives it kind of a 3D uh, look and then I'm actually going to rotate it. So let me explain that one more time. The way the program flow is this. I start with my application being created and at the creation complete tag I hit the application creation handler. That grabs the result data and runs the call responder. Okay. The call responder has it, the result, and the result tag basically runs when the results come back from the XML. That runs this method right here, and inside this method, I'm parsing the XML text. So right here, I'm going to grab the get data results, the last result, that's what's coming in, and I'm going to have four things I can choose from. The first one is the title, so 00, zero basically just puts that into two text values. So 00, zero is basically the title in the array. Now what I need to do next is convert that into something that the text boxes, text 1 and text 2, can read. So in order to do that, I need to convert it to a string. So I'm going to use this uh, convert to collection type utility. So from the utility method, there is a convert to collection, which converts that XML into a string that my text box can read. Sounds a little bit complicated, but once you have the structure, just copy it from my code. Then it works for everything else that you want to do. So it's actually that easy. And uh, let's go down and take a look at our text boxes. So I'm going to just highlight that, hit Control F, it's my best friend, and just hit Find. And down here below in my code are two text boxes. And I put them in a group, and I've called that group My Group. Now, why did I put it in a group? Because, because by putting it in a group, then I can rotate them both at once and also assign a glow to both of them at once. So once again, you're seeing we have text 1, that's my ID there, and text 2. Uh, text. Uh, one, which is on the top, has a reddish color, and text two basically is a blackish color. Let's take a look at the design and see if that's true. I have two boxes here. Let's just pull one off the other. There you go. And let's run this now. And we see text uh, uh, two, which is in the back, is the black color, and text one, which is on the top, is the red color. So when you put one over the other, then they kind of get that kind of almost edgy a look. It's, it's, it's a really nice effect and it's an old trick from Flash before the uh, great effects came into Flash. You just put one text on another, one a little bit of a different color. You just place them and they look pretty cool. Let's hit Control uh, Z and get that back where it's supposed to be. There you go. Now when you run it, you see you get that nice effect where you, the black is in the background but it kind of gives it almost a 3D or a beveled look is what I'm trying to say. And then you also have assigned your glow to it, so you have your glow. Now where do you assign the, the, the glow and the rotation? Let's go take a look at that. So once again, everything is being done through my groups. So what I've done, I've actually sandwiched these two texts in a uh, group, and the one that is, is last is on top. Just remember that. The last one is on top. The first one is on bottom. And uh, I'm actually now going to use that group ID name to assign a rotation and a glow. So let's go back up and follow the flow of the program one more time. Once again, I'm going to come along here and create the program, hit Application Complete. In the Application Complete tag is the Get Data Result. So in addition to grabbing the data using the Get Result, I also have some assignments to my group. I'm going to rotate my group by 20 degrees. I'm going to add a filter to it, just as we did in the previous lesson using the square brackets. I'm going to move it back to a Z of 200. So just remember, as you go more positive in Z, you're actually moving your group back, not forward. Negative is forward, positive is back in the Flash Z coordinate system. And I'm going to set it to an alpha equal to zero. So what did we learn today? Basically, what we did is we learned uh, to, in a sense, trace a program. To start with uh, application complete and just follow the program using control click guide. We use the data result to get the results of the XML. We created a get data result method. And in that, we actually, in a sense, parsed our XML text using the get data result last result. And we grabbed the zero title. We had two of them because we have two text boxes that sit one on top of the other. And we put those text boxes in a group so we could actually assign, you know, just overall characters to both of them just by assigning properties to that group. And one was a rotation. The other was a glow. Also, we set it back in Z and set its alpha to zero. And in the next video, we're actually going to show you how to work with it 
using Twinlight. So thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively, and I'll see you next time.